Hey guys, welcome to my channel. How's everybody doing today? In today's video, I am going to be stuffing some saving challenges. I do six challenges per quarter. And this first quarter, um, I'm doing the zero out challenge, the coin challenge, the one dollar day investment challenge with Mommy Trader, the like and comment challenge by Budget by the Bag, and also doing the hundred envelope challenge for my five grandkids. So if that's something you're interested in, stay tuned. channel let's stuff some challenges so this is the money for my um challenges it's not a lot it's only 135 dollars this for my kids um grandkids 100 envelope challenge and so we're gonna get started with the coin challenge so this money that i um collected the coin challenge this just goes to my regular savings once i roll it up i put it in my savings as you can see i am collecting the half dollar pieces this one is 19 from 1984. This one is 1973. I was only two years old then. And this one is, ooh, 1972. So, yeah. So, I'm cl collecting those. And if you're interested in this organizer, um, I seen one at Walmart, but I have it linked down in my Amazon um, storefront if you're interested. So, let's see how much change we have this week. Hope you guys are having a great day. I'm having a pretty good day trying to get back to um, filming videos since I took a little break. Much needed break, rather. So, yeah. So, that's what I'm doing. So, we're going to put our change in here. And it has markings at the end to let you know when it's time to wrap the coins. We're almost ready to wrap nickels, but not quite. So that's it for the coin challenge. Got my coins all organized. And next we're going to do my grandkids um, 100 envelope investing challenge. <clears throat> At the end of March, I think I'm going to um, go ahead and open them an Upma account. If you're not familiar with an Upma account, it's just an investment account where um, me as the adult, I will be the custodian until they get a certain age. It depends on your state. In the state of Alabama, I think it's 19. They can do what they want with it they can go to college buy a new car blow it whatever they want to do they just know they are know that their grandmother was um disciplined enough to start them an investment account but the purpose of it hopefully by then i'm teaching them about money they'll they'll be responsible enough where they won't blow it but if they blow it i'm not gonna lie like i wouldn't be mad but it's nothing i can do about it all we can do is teach them so like always, my battery is low, so let me change my battery and I'll be back. Okay, my battery is changed, so let me see how many tens I have. So I know how many envelopes I can stuff. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. So ten, these, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then five.
So that's it for the um, 100 envelope challenge. Got a few more envelopes to stuff. And now we're gonna do our um, $1 a day investment challenge. I'm behind on this. As you can see, I stopped February the 4th, but the money's already invested. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna fast forward this and this. I'm just gonna color these and I'll come back. So for February, I um, automated $31 to come out of my um, checking account to be invested in the prison positions I already have with M1 Finance. So that's what I did with that. So $31 is invested every month automatically. So I went ahead and finished filling out February and now we're gonna do March. And today is the 18th. So we're gonna work backwards. And so instead of investing in several stocks, I really just build the positions on the ones I have for right now. When we pay off when we pay off this mortgage. Hold on, I got a phone call. I'm back. So yeah. So what were I saying? Oh yeah. I'm just building up the positions I already have with M1 Finance, which is Verizon and VTI. So I'm just going to do that monthly until we get this mortgage paid off. And then I get more aggressive with the investing. All caught up Ooh, finally so I got all the February done and I'm caught up for March so that's the investing challenge so last challenge we're gonna do today is the um, zero out challenge I normally do the like challenge and the comment challenge but being that I hadn't posted any videos I'll start that back next week so you know, hold the on zero out challenge is where um you just take the last three digits of your balance and roll it over into an account and you do that every week or every however often you would like or every payday and that money would accumulate and then you decide what you're going to do with your challenge money. So with my zero out challenge money, that'll be the last payment that I'll make on my mortgage payoff. So I'm going to save that to December. So I'm just going to let it build up. So it's normally the last three digits of your um, balance. So, I got the idea from a crafty budgeter to do last four. And so, I'm going to alternate. One week, I do the last three. Next week, I do the last four. So, this week is the last three of my um, <laughs> balance because you know I'm not a zero-based budgeter. I just pull out a portion of money to budget and share with you here on, the, on my channel. So, the last three were 49 cents. It was a zero, four, and a nine. So that's what I'm saving this week. So, you know, I'm still being consistent. Even though it's only 49 cents, I still transferred the 49 cents over. And I've been doing it every week. I mean, you know, I've been transferring different amounts every week. So the first week was $7.04. Then I did $46.72. Then I did $7.88. dollars 48 cents, $46.75, $7.88, $31.65, $8.90, $97.36. That's the most I've saved. One dollar and seventy-one cent, and last week I did thirty-four dollars and ten cents, and this week is forty-nine cents, and I'll show you the total right here on the screen. So yeah, that's it. That's the last challenge that I'm doing. So yeah. So let me know in the comment section what challenges you doing. If you revised your challenges, yeah, I want to know. So this is Miss V. I'm gonna continue to show you love, and I'm gonna always help you save on some of the things you need, so you can get some of the things you want. Thank you, and have a nice day.